So today's question is on the power of our radiant light. And we've been in the habit of inviting in energies of protection when meditating or going into situations with different energies. In the new energies, it's been offered that we no longer need to do this. And in fact, by invoking protection, we are possibly weakening the power of our own energies, i.e. our light is so radiant unnecessary to ask for protection and the question of our power will lower its effectiveness to radiate light. I wonder if the team would be able to shed some light on this and would help us to understand this. Thank you. Thank you, dear Lindsay. This is something that we come across very often and yes, times are changing, energies are changing, the whole planet is evolving. And as this occurs, so too does the way that your energy is received from the outer radiance of yourself. So we would like to offer some suggestions that can help you. There are many, many souls on this planet who are exceptionally sensitive to energies. And it's almost as if they walk around in a very, very vulnerable state. Not from any sense that they can be in a state of victimhood, but just that they are very exposed to outer energies. And we are encouraging all you beautiful souls that this does not need to be your normal state of being. The energies are rising on this planet. So too is the expansion of love. And this will become more and more apparent to the sensitive souls that they are actually going to feel more comfortable, more at home. And there will come a time where your shining light is received by everybody and everything in an equal match and protection will not be needed. But for the time being, we encourage you to create a beautiful way of looking after your own energy and allowing yourself to shine out your version of divine light in your greatest and most beautiful way possible. In a practical way, in a fun way, in a light way that is of benefit to you, those around you and the planet as a whole. In this interim time. So we would like to encourage you to use your imagination, your visualization, the power of your creative thoughts, to see yourself, see yourself as a being of divine light, a being of divine light that shines out the love of source, the love of however you like to perceive the creator of all, the source of all. Use your own terminology as we encourage you to do so. See yourself. See how your light shines. And if you are very aware of energies around you, this is a wonderful opportunity to create the visual of a bubble. We can use the word for protection, not from any sense of weakness, just from a sense of practicalities, just as you would say, it's raining, I think I'll put a coat on. We encourage you to put a bubble all the way around your energy field, all the way over you. And we love the descriptions that some of our beautiful souls come up with. Some, if they feel very, very vulnerable, they will use a titanium protection. But for most, they love to choose the option of a visual effect of a bubble, perhaps a washing up liquid bubble, something that looks like a washing up liquid bubble, where you shine your light out, but you can see what's going on, you can sense what's going on, but actually the surface cannot be pierced by anything or anyone. See yourself with this wonderful bubble on that allows you to shine divine love out everywhere you go, 
everywhere this endless supply of divine love. It shines out on the people around you, shines out in the room that you walk into, shines out everywhere you walk on the planet. See yourself like this and see how you can even turn up the strength of this bubble if you want to. If you want to. If you're having a day where you feel a little bit more vulnerable than you'd like to be, because this is the interim time, you know there will come a time where you're shining your light, but anything else less than that just comes nowhere near you. It's not a match. But if there is a moment where you're just feeling a little bit sensitive, you can even use your imagination to say, I'm going to use a thermostat switch and ramp up my bubble. That it's now shining even more light and anything less than that divine love is just going to bounce off the outside. It's just going to burn up and turn into love on the surface of my bubble. Make it fun. Make it joyful. Let go of any seriousness. Just see the fun in existing on this planet in the way that you are. And then we're going to take it further, if you wish. That this surface, because you might say, I am a divine being. I want to shine divine light, but I don't want to be cut off from others. I don't want to be separate to those I love. So see yourself that the surface of this bubble has a membrane like an osmosis process. And the only thing that it allows in as a match is love of the same divine level. So if you are with loved ones and you want to feel their love, then you know that that is coming to you if it is a right and perfect match to the divine love that you radiate. You can connect with others, you can merge, you can have hugs and your bubbles merge and they bounce together. Just play with it. Play with it and create whatever feels right for you. But know all the time that your energy is pure. Your energy is your energy merged with the light of the divine. Your energy radiates out. Now, as you're in this state, this is your in-between state. For as the world is evolving, as the planet is ascending, the outer resonances are becoming lighter and finer, lighter and finer. And yes, there will come a time where the osmosis is so natural because the outer energies are so in match with the divine light that your bubble no longer exists. It doesn't need to. The outer energies are a perfect match to the divine light that you are shining. And this is that state that we say that others are saying, that there is no need for protection. That is the state. Can you feel the ease and the flow in this? Nowhere in this have we said, Every day you've got to put a bubble on and if you don't remember to do it, you're vulnerable or exposed. That is not ever, ever anything that we suggest. What we say instead is once you create the vision and the thought energy of this bubble, that you've played with it to make it your own, you've set up how it's going to work for you, then it is set up. When you wake up, you don't say, I need to put my skin on today. It's there. The same with this beautiful bubble. Your unique bubble is there, doing what it needs to do, just in the same way that your beautiful skin is doing what it needs to do. Okay? You are there. It is doing what it needs to do without thought, without effort. It is just doing it. You can just carry on glowing. You can just continue sensing 
and know that from your bubble, if you wish to turn it up or down again, we have those souls who do energy clearing work. We use the comical description of a thermostat setting. That when they are in their work mode for energy clearing, they consciously, mentally and humorously turn down the levels of the thermostat to reach out and sense the energies of a room and then decide what they want to do with it. And if they're in a very dense room that needs a lot of clearing, they are very quickly turning their thermostat setting back up, going, OK, here we go. And they are using their skill set to clear and up level the energies within that room, within that building, within that space, whatever situation they might be in. But they're doing it from within their beautiful divine bubble. They're doing it with lightness and joy and fun. And can you feel the pleasure in all this? Can you feel the lightness in all this? There are many more things that you can add to the fun levels of being an energy being in human form, of being a soul in human form, that make your existence, your life here on this planet incredibly good fun. And we will come out with more suggestions based on your questions, your asking. We will use different forms of communication, whether it's going to be through the audio version of the word or the written version of the word. And this will be shared through Claire and Lindsay and others so that you can start playing around with the joy and pleasure of being pure energy and ramping it up and having a lighter, more pleasurable way of being and then sharing that with others. We won't spoil the fun and delight of all of the things in one recording, for we would be with you all day. But we will do this in terms of shorter recordings in other topics and longer information on the written word for those who love the details. So we hope that you're going to have fun with this and play with the concept of what's your bubble like. Make it unique. Do like others have done, where they add sound effects to make it even more comical that if they are around people who may be expressing themselves in what may be perceived as a negative way or a less than divine way of communicating, although we see everything divine, but use your humour and see that energy bouncing off and add your sound effects to make yourself laugh. Hear the bedoing as something bounces off the outside and laugh laugh at it that it was not a vibrational match to your divine light that's shining out through and that it is being turned into divine light as it bounces off the surface of your bubble. Play with it, have fun with it, let go of the seriousness, invite in the fun in all areas of your life. But as we say often is why not? Why not? So enjoy yourself with this. Share with others. Make it your own. So we feel we've shared enough with you today on this topic. And we will gladly share and communicate with you on any other topic that encourages you to find the light side of life. Your opportunity to share your light in more and more fun ways with others and this planet. So thank you, the beloved ones. Thank you for taking this time to share with us. Make this your own. Make this your unique version of your life. Share with others. Share with others who may be strug struggling. Point them in the direction of the information. Share it with them however you feel you wish to communicate it. But have fun with it. So thank you and we appreciate 
this opportunity of communicating with you in this manner. Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay. That was beautiful, wasn't it? Beautiful mm. and, and so light uh, and, uh, and, and such fun. So yeah, we can all have a, a great time playing with that. Um, so thank you, Claire. Thank you, um, our beautiful team. Yeah, so did you feel that answered your question for you, Lindsay, particularly about the protection? About that sense that everything's getting lighter, there will be a time when we don't need protection. lovely yes because that is that's your forte is bringing in the finer details those who want um much higher overview or more detailed um much deeper perspective then that's that is one of your skills Lindsay's to, to bring that information in but I, do, I do love the humor that's been brought in about the sound effects of the doing and us letting letting people do their own thing outside the bubble and observing Having a thermostat button to switch up and down, <laughs> and and you're right actually, Lindsay. The focus is away from the sense, because yeah, you're right. Part of it, if if we're not focusing on the need for protection, we're not focusing on the vulnerable state, and if we're not feeling vulnerable, then we're not vulnerable. As simple as that, isn't it? If we're feeling that we are yeah, just I'm divine light shining, that's it. On yeah. Uh, and making that um, shine brighter and, and stronger and radiating to my love and and that that's absolutely beautiful. Yes, that's a that's a lovely, lovely way of just focusing on what works and reminding us to have make it make it joyful, make it light, make it fun. That's brilliant. Thank you so much for creating all this this opportunity to share the information, Lindsay. I do really appreciate that. And I look forward to and your to written our, words. Our beloved teams and um, look forward to the next one. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you, team. Thank you.